Hey guys. So this is 2011 Chevrolet Malibu. I recently had some lights come on on the dash. It said service traction control, service ESC, and the check engine light came on as well as the traction control light. Started it up and it was running a little rough. As you can see, these lights would usually be displaying right here, but looks like they turned off. Here's that engine power reduced sign on. How are my check engine lights still on? So I went and got an AutoZone to, to help me out. Um, and they ran a program on there and saw that at the code P2138 which pinpoints that this accelerator pedal right here um, and its sensor was having an issue so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that today alright so this is the part that we're gonna be replacing today accelerator pedal as well as the sensor which is right here all right guys so this is what it looks like in the car so here we have right there a bolt that we're going to unscrew and then there's one at the top as well as this right here that we need to undo and then you just pull it out then re-put in that bolt right there it's with the black plastic and then the one on top and then reconnect this and then it will recalibrate and that should fix the issue alright guys so I'm in the driver's seat okay so we go under here we look at our pedal and this right here where I'm pointing with this flathead is our uh, sensor right here sorry and this uh, white clip right here that you see there has a little tab that with this flathead screwdriver you're gonna go ahead and just push it into the side with one hand and obviously I can't do it now so I've already done it and then once you've been pushing with that you go ahead and keep on pushing and you pull out this part Go ahead and set it down somewhere where you won't lose it. And then we go back up on the accelerator pedal. Go up to the sensor. And there we go. Get to focus. There's this little clip that we push in on the side. And it will pull right out. That clip is this right here. Push that in. It'll come right out. Alright guys, so using a 1332nd socket, or a 10 millimeter socket, you can go ahead and just look at the pedal. There's this one to take off right here, on the side. And then there's the one at the top right there. And the one up top is a little harder. You'll want to use your hand to move the extension along to help loosen it up instead of just relying on the tool itself. Alright, so if we go ahead and pull this off, come out, that's the old one. Again, this is our new one. Let's go ahead just gonna fit it make sure that you line it up with those two one on the right one on the top pushing in on there and I recommend that you do the not on the top and then the one on the right and then connect the two to the sensor alright guys so I went ahead and I did the top one first putting the nut inside of 
the socket and then using my hand to speed up the process the work went by a lot faster and so I did that one on top then I did the one on right next now all that you need to do is just go ahead and push that in until it clicks which we heard it then we go ahead and grab our little plastic piece make sure that the tab right there that we pushed in is facing this way I'll go in that like so all right let me just I'm gonna go ahead tab is back in position so finish installing it let's go ahead and start her up Great, you can see that the check engine light went off. There's no errors displaying. But what we did have to do in between this was that we did have to buy this little car diagnostic scan tool off Amazon for about $7. Go ahead and plug it in down underneath the steering wheel. And then using your phone, you can clear it. You can also go to AutoZone or anywhere else and they'll clear it for you for free. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a like if you liked the video and if it was helpful. Have a good one guys.